welcome back. And to finish our talk on beetles, we're going to talk about baby beetles. Baby beetles. Baby beetles. Woo! So you may recognize these if you have a pet bearded dragon or something lizard-like. These are superworms, sold in pet shops as a feeder for a variety of pets, especially reptiles. But these superworms, let's see how many we can get in one handful, are actually baby beetles. So these are the larval stage of a type of darkling beetle from South America, known as just a superworm beetle. But beetles all have a larval stage, just like butterflies and moths, they have a basically a larva, which in butterflies and moths we call a caterpillar. Um, this goes through a pupil stage and then an adult stage, so they're very similar. Beetles are really interesting because like, I love beetles and learning about beetles, but I think adult beetles specifically are when they're super adorable because they have like the really big eyes. Uh, you have to see a big grub then. <laughs> little little bangs sometimes, little toes. But these things, like, Jason, will you put your hand back in there sure. again? I and... also wanted to show you the adult form. So <laughs> Okay, there's the adult. So this is, well, not quite the same species, but this is one of our local desert skunk beetles. And uh, superworm beetles are very closely related. They're in the same family, the darkling beetle family. Darkling. Mm -hmm. And they're actually uh, Jason, also... Jason, just give a scoop so we can get a closer. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> See, that, I don't know if I like these baby beetles. All right. There's Look a scoop. at just this. The ground writhing beneath <laughs> you. So yeah, they live in the ground in the wild. They can claw. They can roots climb. Eating and seeds and dead stuff. But we grow them in bran and give them uh, basically oh, sweet potato and carrot. And okay, that's cute. Yep. I don't know if I want to touch these ones. But can we talk about Ooh. the next stage? My favorite. Well, my favorite's adult, but I really, really, <sighs> really love the pupa. The pupa stage. Or the pupal stage. In some countries, they call it a pupa, which I think is a hilarious word. So we will show you the pupal stage of the elephant beetle. So this guy spends most of his life as a big grub living in a rotting wood, usually at the base of dying trees. But that grub to become a beetle first goes through the pupal stage. So this here is an elephant beetle pupa. Mira, this look. alien looking creature. And as you can see, it has all the parts of the adult elephant beetle and it wiggles. It wiggles. Look at this wiggle. Wiggle for us, baby. Mmm, look at that. I love so, it. I love when they wiggle. I know, it's adorable. So this, as you can see, is basically an elephant beetle with all its legs, its horns, and it's resting on its back. So if we turn it this way, <gasps> you'll see it. where the thorax is and where its the little horn head is, bump. and the horn folds up a little bit. So when this uh, fully develops its new exoskeleton under this exoskeleton, it'll molt it off into the adult stage, just like any other arthropod. They molt to grow. But most people don't get to see the pupil stage of such a large beetle. It's, such an alien cool thing. I was excited to take these out. I love them. Well, before we finish our baby beetle episode, we have to show you what we saved for last. Jason, bring out the big baby. All right. We're going to show you one of the biggest babies in the arthropod kingdom. So this is the larval stage. <laughs> Actually, of a Hercules beetle, which is a close relative of the elephant beetle, but they look identical. Identical. Uh, they I just ha They have the best bangs, in my opinion, the Hercules beetles. So what we're going to do is dump this out so this is a tub of rotting wood substrate beetles love rotting wood it's a very specific formula we make for large rhinoceros beetle species um not the easiest to make so if we dump this out and we look in here <gasps> i can see the big baby there it is oh that is I a big beetle larva. look at this baby so there's the head there very are we cute. showing it on this camera more very Ooh. cute <laughs> as you can see that is a quite a large insect. In fact, this weighs about a quarter of a pound right now. Wow. And it still has about four months left of growing. So this will it's be about a third of bigger. a pound before it becomes that pupa that we just showed you. Although the Hercules beetle pupa has much bigger horns than the elephant beetle pupa. But, um, so very like cool. Them? Sure, like just in the lid or on my hand. Oh, or... them in your hand. So I think one, I've seen, I've seen some of these big old babies a few times before, and I think one time you told me that sometimes they can get a little feisty. Do I need to be yep. terrified right now, or? Uh, not too much. Okay. Just keep I don't your like... hands away from the jaws. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't like these jaws. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if you can see those jaws. Back? Yeah, I think you should take him back. All right. I'm, uh, I've never yep. been a good babysitter. Yep. So they have those big, powerful jaws because they create that. their own habitat. So they're living inside of, with Hercules beetles. They're inside of dead trees, usually higher up. Elephant beetles tend to be more at the base of the trees, eating rotting leaves and rotting wood. But they use those jaws to basically chew up their food into a powder, and then it rots more quickly, and it gets to that perfect stage of decay where it's soft and spongy and brown. 
They also uh, basically live in their own poop. And so these big old pellets here, let me see if I can find some, are the poop pellets. And these carry important microbes that help break down the wood. And they basically, again, kind of make their own habitat around themselves. And they get very important gut microbes from their parents when the eggs are laid. And yep, that's the way they just eat a lot of just high quality rotting wood. Pretty interesting life cycle. Jason, thank you so much for teaching us all about baby beetles, pupas, and how they get to be adults. I know we said this was going to be the last episode, but could I please beg you to do one more episode on beetles where we talk uh, about all their cute little features? Okay, we can do one more. I mean, they're yes. my favorite, so. So come back next we'll week, and we're going to do one more episode about beetles and how cute they are. See you then.